こんにちは。はじめまして。私はジュリアンです。I just said my name is Julian Grimm and 日本語が少しできます。Let's go into the video, guys. So, today we're gonna talk about a cool little trick that I found in Ableton Live 11 Suite. Some of you guys might have watched my latest video about the Gogeta amp, right? The amp sim by Nero DSB. And you might be like, that sounds really good, but I just bought Ableton Live 11 Suite and I cannot spend any more money on plugins. Well, I got you covered, because I got a new little trick in Ableton Live 11 that makes all the difference when you're doing guitars in the box. But first of all, let me just warn you, this is only for Ableton Live Suite users, so if we go to the computer here... Oh, oh wait, don't, don't look at that. I, I was not watching K-pop pants, okay? Don't... <laughs> I was not watching K-pop. I'm a punk rock guy, remember? Punk rock? No K-pop for me. No, not at all. Anyway, so going to the right tab here, if you look at the comparison in Ableton's website of the different live versions, for this trick to work, you're gonna need the amp plugin and hybrid reverb right here. So as you can see, both of them are only available in Ableton Live Suite, unfortunately. But you should have Suite, because Suite is the sweetest one. For sure. So let's say you're recording guitars in Ableton Live, right? You have an amp sim included with your DAW, right? You have amp included right here. So let's say you recorded some guitars like these ones. You just plugged in directly to your interface, so it just sounds horrible, right? It sounds like a line in guitar. But how can you make this sound better? Amp sim, right? So you have an amp sim in Ableton Live 11 Suite, right? Amp. So you drag that to your guitar track, right? Don't forget to make it stereo if you did stereo guitars. I did stereo guitars. Always do stereo guitars. So change the output to stereo here. Now that sounds a bit better already, but this is punk rock, right? So we need these guitars to be louder, distorted, crazier. So let's go to the heavy amp. Why not? And that just sounded like farts. So uh, what are we missing here? Well, you know that Ableton also comes with a plugin called Cabinet. And that's a Cabinet Sim. Because if you think about this amp plugin, it's just the amp head and you need the speaker, right? The Cabinet for the amp to sound like a real amp in the real world. You need a speaker. So Ableton gives you a speaker simulator right here. And you can choose these different cabinets right here and these different positions for the mic and a couple of different mics right here. So it's not a super flexible plugin, but it can help when you're doing guitars in the box, right? So look how better this sounds already. So it sounds better for sure, but it's still not quite what I want. Like I want my guitars to sound real, even though I recorded in the box because I have neighbors and I can't make noise. I can't mic an amp in my flat. How can I make this guitar sound like it's in the real world, breathing, making things shake, vibrating a room? How can I make that happen? Well, this is where a neat little trick comes in. You can delete the cabinet plugin and you can use hybrid reverb instead. And this is a brand new plugin in Ableton Live 11, right? So you drag in hybrid reverb. Hybrid reverb, it's literally a hybrid reverb because it has convolution reverb inside it and it has a normal algorithm reverb inside it. So a digital computer-based reverb and a convolution reverb. We are gonna use the convolution section of the reverb only. What is a convolution, you may ask? Well, if you came in this channel for technical explanations, you are in the wrong place. But let's just summarize convolution as running your sound through a recording of the real reverb to make it sound like the real reverb. You know what I'm saying? There's some math going into it. I don't know how the plugin gets the sound from the real reverb and reads it and then applies it to your sound. I don't know how that happens. I'm not a computer guy. I am just a guy. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we can do with hybrid reverb to make this guitar sound a little bit better. So the first step is we got to make this reverb as basic as possible. So let's adjust all the settings. So it's just the sound of my amp going through this hybrid reverb and nothing else is applied to it besides the convolution section of it. First step is pre-delay all the way down here where we have serial. That means that the sound is going into the convolution and then into the algorithm. We don't want that. We want only the convolution. So we're going to choose convolution only. And you can see the algorithm side just get grayed out because it's off now. And last step, 
obviously Jai and Matt 100% because we're not using this as a reverb we're using this as a cabinet emulator and why can we use this as a cabinet emulator? Because the way that convolution reverb works is the same way that convolution cabinet simulation works. Basically, you record an impulse response of a reverb or an impulse response of a cabinet and you put it through the plugin that reads that impulse response and applies it to your sound. So you see here, we have a bunch of convolution impulse responses down here. But they're all for reverb, right? You can see halls, plates, springs. How can I load a cabinet in pulse response in this plugin? It's super easy, guys. If I go to my folder here with all my cabinet in pulse responses, so in pulse responses, guitar cabs, we have a bunch of WAV files. So WAV files is one of the ways that you can get in pulse responses. There's many formats that they come, but WAV is the most standard one because you can use it in any plugin. You're not limited to one plugin. So here we got a bunch of impulse responses, right? And if I drag any of these into my plugin, there you go, they're in there. And now if I play my sound, it's gonna go through the amp, through the impulse response that I dragged in from my computer. And just briefly, you can download impulse responses for free online. You can buy them. So many easy ways to get them. You see, they usually come with these kind of generic names because people don't wanna break any copyright laws, right? But you can get an idea of which amp they're talking about here. You see, they have a Mesho, which should be a Marshall. They have a Rev, which is a Rev. So maybe they got the copyright rights for that. We got a Mesa. We got a bunch of things that are recognizable in here so these are just cabinet impulse responses from these amps and now we're gonna apply them to our sound and all that i did was drag in to the little wave section here in hybrid reverb and now if i play that sound Now the sound is going through the cabinet impulse response and it sounds much better than the cabinet plugin in Ableton. And not only that, it gives you all the options to load any cabinet impulse response you may be able to get online. So you can buy really expensive ones that sound really nice and you can just use hybrid reverb as a loader for them in Ableton. And now you have access in Ableton Live 11 to any cabinet that you want because people have done impulse responses of every cabinet alive in this earth. So now just with this little trick of resetting the plugging using only the convolution section of it and dragging in your impulse response into this little section right here. Now you can use any cabinet impulse response without having to buy an extra plugin without being limited to the cabinet plugin and you can also load a bunch of reverbs in there if you're doing other stuff you can you can record your own cabinet responses so you can record an impulse from your own amp and use your own amp in Ableton Live 11 in case you can't turn it on at the second or you're not home but you still want to kind of get the same sound that you have at home with your amp you can use hybrid reverb for that if you record an impulse response from your own amp so because I dragged that impulse response from that folder now all the other impulse responses in that folder show up here and I can just use these arrows to choose my favorite one so let's just loop a little section here and run through some different cabinet impulse responses <laughs> So let's say I like that, right? We can now unmute the rest of my track and listen to how it sounds in the mix. It sounds so much better. Listen to it without the cabinet impulse response in there. night and day night and day guys this is a real useful simple and efficient cabinet impulse response loader in ableton it's just hidden as hybrid reverb but disregard the name hybrid reverb 
the convolution reverb, right? If you only use the convolution side, you can load any impulse response that you want. So it makes it a perfect cabinet impulse response loader. And you don't have to buy any extra plugins. It's in Ableton. Just remember who taught you that it was Julian here. So leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more little tricks, especially for rock music in Ableton Live. You can also use this trick with bass cabinets. You can use it for clean guitars. So let's do the same thing again for the clean guitar here. Guitar sounds a little bit bland. It's less annoying with clean guitars, but let's do the same thing again. So let's put the amp plugin down there. Let's use the blues preset for this one. That sounds a lot better. Now let's just copy hybrid reverb from the other track to this one. It sounds amazing. It sounds like the closest thing you're gonna get from actually micing up that cab. It's awesome. And let's let's try a couple other cabs here just for fun. Just let's solo it and listen to the difference with and without the hybrid reverb cabinet simulation. Tell me that doesn't sound way closer to a cabinet mic'd up in a room. It's so cool. So yeah, we're gonna talk a lot more about guitars in Ableton Live for rock people like you and me. And if you wanna have a chat with me to talk about these little tricks, in private, you can also visit my website and book a Zoom session with me and we can talk for half an hour, one hour, three hours about producing rock in Ableton or producing anything in anywhere. I know a lot of stuff and I'm excited to share it all with you guys. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please press all the buttons that help me in this world and I see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>